Greetings, citizens of the Earth! As a follow-up to our latest G video, today we're going to discuss his very unique command grab, G Impact. We'll have a look at how it works, how to use it, and how to counter it when playing against G. So what is it that makes this command grab stand out from the rest? First of all, it's got impressive range, especially because G doesn't fit the traditional slow and bulky grappler character archetype, like for example Zeng. This extended range allows G to use his command grab in a number of ways that are normally unavailable to most characters. For instance, throwing opponents after a block using normal, or even multiple lights, or after baiting a throw attack attempt by walking backwards. While the command grab itself doesn't do a lot of damage, the opponent is put in a juggle state, allowing G to combo afterwards. As G accumulates more presidentiality levels, the command grab becomes progressively more dangerous, offering new combo routes and increased damage potential. G can further extend the combos out of his command grab, either by spending meter or by being in the corner, and since G Impact is a meterless combo starter, it's the only untackable grab that leads into critical art. As a result, this command grab is easily the most damaging throw in the game, and one of G's most feared tools. To balance out the extreme damage potential of G Impact, its startup is much slower than a traditional command grab, totaling at 12 frames. This is more than double than most and makes it impossible to use it in a normal tick grab situation as your opponent will have more than enough frames to hit you out of its startup. Furthermore, when you cancel into G Impact from normals, its startup is sped up so that it's impossible to abuse the grab's naturally slow speed to take opponents into it. This was also put in place so that G can beat the reversals and armored moves by cancelling into his command grab. The other big weakness of the command grab is its massive recovery, again much longer than many other similar grabs. This makes it possible to score big punishes on G in case you're able to sniff out a coming command grab. In fact, most characters can backdash the command grab attempt and still be able to get a jump in combos upon it. So to land this command grab, G is left with just a few reliable options. One is to attempt it after jumping in on an opponent. Both on hit or block, the frame advantage is so high that, if well timed, the command grab will be able to beat your opponent's normals. A second option is to use it as a midi on your opponent's wake up. Again, with the right timing, it will be able to beat any kind of normal, as the startup doesn't really matter in such a situation. Having said this, you can still land a command grab in lots of other situations, like after dashing in on your opponent or in a traditional take grab scenario but it relies on your opponent being frozen on the defensive, attempting to block any potential offense instead of trying to retaliate. So let's talk about punishing G's command grab. As I mentioned before, G Impact has very long recovery, making it very punishable by the entire cast. Backdashing will net you the best punish, allowing you to jump in on G as it's still recovering. This is usually the best option for the majority of the characters. Neutral jumping also works, just like with all other command grabs, and can be a safer option as you're vulnerable to crush counters during a backdash attempt. Be careful however, as G can bait out and beat both of these options if he's looking out for them. If you attempt to jump out or backdash after blocking a normal, a tight frame trap will be able to beat both, and in the case of a backdash, G can even crush counter you while you're still airborne, possibly leading to a more damaging juggle. G's back hard punch will also beat any attempt at a neutral jump by catching you in the air while still being able to combo out of it. Like many other characters with a command grab, G can also attempt a normal throw instead, which of course has much shorter recovery, making the attempt safe in the case of an opponent's backdash, or even allowing him to punish in case of a neutral jump. As it is the case with situations like these, it's important to make the most out of a good read for both sides. 
Make sure to practice in training mode against G to find what's your character's best punish for a whiffed command grab, as it can lead to big damage. Same goes for G players that want to optimize their punishes for when they successfully manage to beat their opponent's escape attempt. So that is all for today, folks. Hopefully this video made you a more knowledgeable citizen of the earth. <laughs> G would be proud. Make sure to leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And until next time.